up five to one. And I think that if Jaime wants to play for a win, he can release oh! his rook. Whoa! Back to Queen. You called it. I know I called it, but I wasn't actually expecting it. On to e4, that knight on c5 doesn't only guard the e6 pawn, but has full center under control. With it move by move, centralizing his pieces more and more. Black seems to be paralyzed here. The knight from f5 being hit. Wow. That is a committal decision, and queen g4 is a big threat here right now, coming in with a check. And four seconds for Vinny. He has to replace h3, which is a mistake. Apparently, he had a winning move. Instead, we see... Oh my gosh, just chaos ensue at this point. 97 with Knight the four Tanya. One second, he barely gets his move off. And oh, oh a monster God. fork. Whoa. In this position, you were pointing at queen b3, and I think it might be the only way, because imagine if you fall back with the queen to let's say e2 or f2. All right, you want to try and keep the pieces on the board. But now notice how the black queen and the black rook on c8 target the c1 rook, and the knight can jump. Well, not only to d4, but to e3. And I think that might be an option. And I'm trying to work out the geometry because it's so complicated. Knight e3, I'm giving up the knight for free, but your rook on c1 hangs. And if you first trade the rook on c8, I will pick up the f1 rook with a check. And that is celebrations. Or am I missing something? Nope, I think you're spot on. That Ooh. is nasty. And that's why perhaps Raunik has yet to move. He is understanding that knight e3, even if the queen's not there to capture, knight e3 will be the next one. He resigns to b5, a6 falls, and eventually g5 will be a victim after rook g6 check. You could scoop that off the board. So it looks like Salem Saleh is getting a much needed mm. win for the gnomes. And Hammer joins the show, and suddenly the gnomes start winning. Yeah, it was a good omen, although I have been swindled personally, Robert, by Dennis Lasovic. Uh, in multiple <gasps> no, times. Knight oh, no, Knight E3 check! Oh, no! Oh, Jinxed Oh, Jinxed it! Oh! completely lost for so many moves. Mm -mm -mm. He's completely lost. Yeah, it's unfortunate for him. He's just trying to keep the king cut off, but this rook can also go to the D7 square at some point. You can play rook E6 to create shelter for your king. Oh! It's a what? draw now! He, he, <laughs> he went all the way up! Danya, <laughs> the trickster! And Narayanan finds bishop takes H2 to start to pry open the white king, and things just get bad from here. This is a beautiful sequence, because most people yeah. think it's about winning the bishop. That gets you checkmated on d7. Yep. But knight comes to e5. The queen cannot protect the g4 square. It goes to its only safe square over there, and then bam. Give me that bishop. The king just gets checkmated on h4. We're not laughing uh, because of uh, the players. It's just, you know, you have to laugh, otherwise you cry. Oh, because of rook a1, now king e4. He's crossing a bit slower, but he's making sure his king gets in over here. What about, man? And a water down to seven seconds. He might lose this game. Get out of here. Oh, hold on to your hash chat. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Here comes the king. Oh, it's I'm, winning for black. I'm out. How does Magnus man, Carlsen do this? Just take it. He just takes this pawn. The bishop, the long-range piece, covers g8, protects a2. The black king slides in, and Magnus Carlsen is winning. He takes f2. Defending by attacking, but the bishop oh. moves back. It moves back to g4, and there's going to be a discovery against the bishop on a8. What a devious move with no time found by Wei Yi. Wait, that was sick because black was threatening rook f3 check with a drawing mechanism. Oh if my that bishop, gosh. If, if the bishop had gone anywhere else, like c8 or d7 or whatever, rook f3 check, and your king can't get out of the checks unless it steps onto the g4 square, in which case the knight would be free to move. So that is why... Bishop back to g4, breaking your own pin to unleash a critical discovery. Wow, what a find by Wei Yi. Five is winning for White. And look at Vita. He is just upset. He's got a hand in his head. He can't believe it. It's a one you gotta move. move. What? 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 What are you are doing? You... I'm out. What? I'm out, bro. I'm out. Ban the draw offer. No way. They drew by agreement. Vita can't believe it. It's B3 nope. right away. If, if A takes, there's A3. So you can't. Oh, oh A3. Oh. Wait, a night two before. And, night before. Yeah, yeah, a two and night before in any order. In any order, night before is brilliant, and he's going to either win the bishop on e four or promote a queen. It's over, and that's a huge win for the bulldogs. I mean, you, you could take two minor p. Oh, what? What was that? That one. Dominguez has to move. I know his position doesn't look good, but he two needs seconds. to find something. One second. Oh my gosh! I mean, he's just getting outplayed by Wei Yi. Oh, oh. Ho, ho. Woo! Oh, what is that? What? Two seconds. He had 0.2 when he played bishop g1. 
Wow, what a move Rook H3 was, by the way, in his opponent's time trouble. And now he pins that bishop there. Oh, oh my gosh, he's barely getting these moves up. Wait one second. Why this problem? Check. You just go by forcing. You can bring your queen, take this pawn with check. It looks like mm -hmm. black is the one for choice. But oh, Bale! <laughs> yeah, your Ricky queen five. is loose. <laughs> oh, we're, my we're goodness. We're seeing it. A Wonder Liang is a beast at Bug House. He sees tactics like this. He plays it. Rook Look takes e5 Magnus. is check. The queen is oh losing Magnus' nose. Oh, my goodness. He's busted. He's completely busted here.